I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and for something unusual today, Sam Spring is joining me on site somewhere in Orange, Australia. Uh, Sam, I don't know where to start, but I think I'm going to start with what am I even looking at behind you? G'day, Shay. Um, no, Fleet Space, who we've just had a news event out this week, are hosting an investor and educational event out um, at the Wentworth Gold Mine out on the outskirts of Orange. Um, so that's where you find us today. There's a pretty good attendance you might be able to see in the background. Uh, I certainly can. And next year, please let me know. I would absolutely love to crash this invite uh, and come and compare the old with the new technology. Because as you just pointed out, uh, you put out an announcement earlier in the week regarding a gravity survey that Fleet Space will be doing. My guess is they've got a bit more high-tech equipment than what's behind you. No, absolutely. So Fleet Space, as the name suggests, a, a, a technology company specialising in um, space and also mineral exploration. Um, they're rapidly deploying this ANT, which is a passive seismic survey, through a number of projects through the Macquarie Arc, um, including the world's largest ever ANT survey. But they're also looking to, um, to do a gravity survey for the first time at our Ningam project. So a regional and infill ANT survey with a ground gravity survey that will help refine targets um, within the district looking at large-scale porphyry systems. Uh, and just to refresh everybody's memory, the Ningan project actually is a joint venture with Anglo Gold Ashanti, isn't it? It is. So in May, we announced Anglo Gold Ashanti would come in as a partner for our Ningan and Nevertire projects, earning up to 80% for $50 million of expenditure. Um, this ANT survey and gravity survey with Fleet is separate to that, but it's on a high priority target area that really stands out on a district scale perspective. So it's an area that we'd expect to be drilling into um, before the end of the year. Okay, well, that takes me to my next question. And that is, when can we expect some sort of uh, outcome or results from this fleet space gravity survey that they're undertaking? Well, the, the great thing about the fleet surveys is they're very quick. Um, they're kicking off the first week in August. Um, as you've seen with Waratah and Flexion Resources, which are a couple of other juniors they've done that work for in the belt, it's really rapid time turnaround. The, the, it's daily um, feed from the sensors to the satellite technology and then into the cloud and AI processing. So it's very quick. Um, and I guess separate to that, we're looking at commencing drilling um, and we should have news on that pretty shortly with Anglo Gold Ashanti. Um, with our Ningham project. So we're expecting to be out in the field and the ANC gravity survey is the first part of that. Uh, listen, Sam, it's, there's clearly no rest for the wicked. Uh, it sounds like I've got a busy few months ahead for King Cora Copper. Uh, I want to just say thank you so much for being here. I'm very jealous that you get to be on site having this old world tour completed. Uh, I should let you get back to it because it looks pretty busy in the background. No, thank you, Shay. It's a great opportunity to provide an update. <laughs>